In this video I want to demonstrate how you can play pretty much any MS-DOS CD-ROM game using DOSBox. DOSBox is a freely available uh, MS-DOS emulator. It's a great piece of software if you want to replay old games. So to get this working we will first create an image file from a CD-ROM and then we will use that image file inside DOSBox and uh, play the actual game. Just to show an example, I will be using Legend of Kirandia Book 3. Um, the, in the first step, to create the image, we use Image Burn. It's also a free uh, program that's available from the URL linked in the video notes. Once you start Image Burn, you get to see this, this screen. And this is the button we will be needing. We want to create an image file from a disk. Now I have loaded the CD-ROM of Legend of Kirandia in the drive and Image Burn will detect it. The only thing you will probably want to adjust is the destination file. I will just put it inside my games directory just so we can find it back. And when that is set, we click on the large button at the bottom and Image Burn will start copying the CD-ROM into the image file. I'm going to skip get because this will take a few minutes. We are now two minutes later and uh, Image Burn has finished uh, creating the CD-ROM image file. Now we can close Image Burn and we can start DOSBox. Now when you open DOSBox you'll need to configure a few drives. We want to have a hard drive and we want to mount or the, the CD-ROM drive. We want to use the image we just created. To do that we will need to mount drives. Now by default if you type in mount you'll see that only a Z drive is mounted. This contains a few tools uh, from DOSBox. So the first thing we will do is create a C drive and this is actually a folder on our hard drive. In my case I've put this in my games folder. I use the same drive for uh, all games. So when the drive is mounted you can go to that drive and do a directory listing. The next step is mounting the CD-ROM image. For that you will need the image mount command. We will mount it to the D drive and I will use the image I just created. So that's this one. And you need to add the type of the image which is ISO in this case. So with that mounted we can go to the D drive and that will contain all the files that were on the CD-ROM. And the final step is starting the installer. So the installer is pretty much clicking OK a few times. We will install the game to the C drive, which is the one we just mounted. OK. OK, apparently I already installed it before, but I'm just going to overwrite it. Um, one nice thing to know is you can use DOSBox in full screen mode. This is by uh, th you do this by entering the Alt Enter key, and you can switch back to the windowed mode with Alt Enter. This is useful once you are inside the game. So, one final step is configuring the sound card. And, uh, the great thing about DOSBox is that it supports virtually any sound card, so you will be able to play even the oldest game with the most the strangest sound cards. In this case we can use the Sound Blaster 16 which is usually the one of the better choices. Now that's done and our installer is done too and we can start playing the game. Oops. 
sorry, I didn't recognize you.